Hello everyone, this is Manny from The Waste with another Fallout 4 build. Today we're at Nordhagen Beach and we're going to build a small mansion and a boardwalk with a bunch of shops. We're going to dress everybody pre-war, it's going to be really awesome out here so come check us out. We're going to get started but the first thing we have to do is get rid of this ridiculous trash pile in the middle of our beautiful beach. If you guys notice, I did have some scaffolding and stuff set up over here before. Um, I had already started the boardwalk before my channel started kind of picking up. So I kind of just left it and started doing other tutorials. So I'm glad I could finally get back to it and, and truly finish it up because it was just going to be a boardwalk per se, but now it's turning to a boardwalk with the mansion. Okay, so if you'll notice, the shack foundations go inside the trash, and that is beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to line up something from the house to give me a, a base, and then that way we can get a straight line coming from this way, although that probably isn't going to work. So let's just go into the middle of the trash. So. I'm going to set up these foundations and then I'll be back. As you can see, we got most of that trash squared away, which is awesome. I'm a little OCD about the way the direction that the wood goes, so don't mind me. But now that we've gotten this taken care of, what we're going to do is we're going to expand out towards the sea. The biggest thing we want to do is make sure that we don't eat our space up while we're doing this. So we want to go with the thinnest floors possible, which is the shack floors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand out all the way to the beach so that way we got a nice safe area to walk and then a little bit of beach front right down there because you know they still got Mireworks around here so I'm going to go on ahead and plot out where I want the mansion and then I'll be back. Right, so we got what I feel like most of the decking is done right now. We're going to put some more out, but I really want to see how the house shapes up and how the shops take a hit on our settlement size. So I want to show everybody an advanced technique that I've uh, started using. So if I wanted to get a house connected to the boardwalk, it would not allow me to put a door you see like where I would want it because I would want the door there but even still see it wants me to put the door facing that way I can't get the door facing this way well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the grade up and I'm gonna do that by using some shack steps this took me quite a while to get lined up correctly but if you see, I'm uh, I'm counting the planks, so I have it directly over the first four planks. And what that lets me do is it lets me take an extra check foundation and put it up behind it. 
just like that and then if you notice we've got minimal gap but even more important than that it's that we can place things on the side of it which I really wanted to do and then I was able to cut up some of the stupid trees so now all I have to do is remove the stairs and put my door and then I can put the stairs back excellent and it's got pathing it's gonna work fine and then we'll be able to have a nice mansion right here next to the little house with the full boardwalk so I'm about to start shaping up the mansion for first floor walls and then we'll be back We got the first floor done I wanted just full windows in here um, we did have a spacing issue over here I thought about moving the entire house but then I realized there's nothing to see over here anyways so there's no real point I'm not really too concerned about it and then that's what I do like about building is you know adapting and I think we'll be able to make it work if it interferes with our second floor then I will move the house but as you can see from the outside, the outside aesthetic had stayed firm. So now we're going to go ahead and put a second floor on this. I'm not going to make the house too big or elaborate because I don't want to eat the settlement space up with the house. Because I was planning on living at Nordhagen Beach as just like a little beach resort. And then have all my settlers out here hanging out with me and, you know, barbecuing and stuff, listening to music. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the second floor and then we'll be back.
Okay, so now that we have the small mansion built, we're gonna go ahead and flush out the area of the deck. So, what I found something cool is that you can use the wooden foundations and they look a lot more like uh, scaffolding or yeah, I guess it's like the pathing way that you would see on a boardwalk. Also, fun note, just in case you didn't know, um, your guys, they can actually fall underneath these. I mean, they'll get out, they'll just glitch through it, but it's pretty weird when you're like looking for someone and you don't see them, so yeah, there's always that. Okay, I'm liking this, but I think I'm going to take it back one, extend the deck one, and then put them out, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that, and then we'll be back. morning everyone well last night we put in the hours and we got most of the decking finish we also put in some cool stairs to get down to the uh, ocean and then we got us another cool set right here I wanted to show everybody that I've been using the shack foundations and if you look at that that looks really cool I mean it looks really official this is my second time building it but the first time I didn't use these and it just didn't look too official. But this one, oh yeah, definitely looks official. So we're looking at about, I think, half our settlement budget so far, which is good. We've got the mansion in. We've got most of the uh, decking in. Uh, I'm probably going to use this area back here for some utilities, maybe a generator tower. Uh, the underneath side of our cabin looks nice and uh, well established I might put a balcony back here might but I don't know I don't really see a point because uh, you know this is a boardwalk you'd want to be like hanging out out here in the front okay so now that we've got most of this established I'm gonna take a look around and see how I want my shops arranged I had them arranged uh, inside of like a mega structure last time, but I think I'm going to try something a little different. So just hang out and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Wow, that took a long time. I was trying to figure out how to get my shops in their own small enclosed space. And what I went on ahead and decided is to go with this setup right here. And basically it probably would have no roof but it still seems like it would be more secure than just leaving them out there 
what I do want to do though is put a door back here. That way they got a little entrance to get inside their shops. Okay, it doesn't work. Maybe we're gonna have to readjust that. I'll probably have to put it at the other end. But regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and put me a little door right here. And then I'll flesh out the shops a little bit more. This is a pretty good build. When I built it the first time, it did not use the shack floors. It used double floors for some reason. It ate up my space severely. But we're still sitting at about half. I got all the shops so I can get what I really wanted, which is some sweet neon glow effects all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and get done with this stuff, and then I'll be back. Getting places. Having fun building these little shops. Had an idea to get them some roofs. Which I thought was rather ingenious. And we've just put a little bit of an area in the back back there. So nothing too much. Man, are these shops hard to accommodate for? But seriously hard to accommodate for. Now we're going to try to cheat. I've done this before on my mansion and it was pretty cool. It worked out well. We'll work here. I don't know. This door right here might give us... Oh no, I keep seeing the snap, so we'll get it. There it is. This is how I made my power arm facility warehouse. Okay, that was wrong with me. Okay, quick cheat. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just I gave it an artificial second floor that didn't extend all the way. And then now all I have to do is just encase it in walls. Good to go. I can even make this uh, little area accessible by leaving the staircase. I haven't decided. I eh, might as well. The space is good in this place, although I don't want to eat up too much of it, considering I'm trying to do something huge. Let me check that out. And all we got to do is get us some roofs here. Super cool, super easy. It's just like a big puzzle kit. The more you play with it, the more you learn. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm that's where I'm gonna put all the light boxes and stuff that I wanted to put over here. Alright. I'm liking it, man. I am liking it. Could do this. I think I can do this. Come on. Yeah. No snap. No snap. Thought I might be could fill in that gap right there, but it doesn't look like I'm getting, getting any joy. Alright, so we got the shops down, we got the house down, and we got the boardwalk. This is the bar. I'm gonna flesh it out a little differently and put it on this side over here. We're getting pretty close to the end of the build. And that's good, cause man, am I getting tired. All this building. Yeah, you know what I call but it? you guys like it. One that ends without an empty stomach. Yep, yeah, I don't know. They got an issue I need to go take care of too, but okay. Hmm, so now I'm probably just going to think a little bit about what my next move's going to be, and then I'll be back.
well guys we finished up we got a really nice settlement a little touch of the old world with a little bit of a boardwalk swing so if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like it helps out a lot share subscribe and stay tuned for more fallout 4 content this has been manny of the waste signing out thanks for watching and take care Much better.